Previously in Finero. When you're a man of faith, it doesn't matter how much you amass. You always build things and establish things that speak a certain language. And the language that says, this is only but a beginning. He gives us an example of our father Abraham. Look at the encounter God has with him. And tells him, leave your family, your kindred and country. And from your father's house. And he tells him, go and to a land that I will show you. And the Bible says, prompted by faith, he dwelt as a temporary resident in the land which was designated in the promise of God. Though he was like a stranger in a strange country, living in tents with Isaac and Jacob, fellow heirs with him of the same promise. For he was waiting expectantly and confidently, looking forward to the city which was fixed and firm foundations, whose architect and builder is God. When God gives him a promise, being strong in faith, the Bible says, when he entered that land, he dwelt in tents. With the patriarchs Isaac and Jacob, Abraham's generation dwelt in tents, Isaac's generation dwelt in tents, Jacob's generation dwelt in tents. Were they poor? No. Even when Abraham became so rich and had cattle and had sheep and had oxen, gold and silver, he still dwelt in tents. When he produces his son, Isaac, Isaac also entered the tent. When Isaac begat Jacob, Jacob also dwelt in tents. It was not a mistake. There is a spiritual signification of this thing you and I are calling tent. And so I ask God, why tent? Why three generations in the tent? In Genesis 12, where the story begins, the Bible says, The Lord appeared unto Abraham and said unto him, And to thy seed I will give this land. And there builded he an altar unto the Lord, who appeared unto him, and he removed from thence unto a mountain on the east of Bethel, and pitched his tent. Now, it does not mean that Abraham had not pitched tents before. But that is the first time we see tent connected to Abraham. It's amazing that the first time the tent is given, an altar is built before. Altars precede tents. When God gives you a word, and he tells you move, and then a man starts to move by faith, the first revelation that man must learn is how to pray. According to the word given, a man can't build a tent when he has not understood how provision comes and what provision is. Provision is the word. When you're strong in faith, it doesn't matter whether you find or you don't find. He has spoken. When God says he go, that word go has provided. If God has said you're rich, find something to do before the employer finds you. That's a man saying, God, I believe you. But I don't have a job. What do I do? Get out of bed in the morning and put on like you have a job. And just walk around the compound. Because when you're a person of faith, you can't stay in bed. How? If the sun finds you awake every morning, you can never die poor. That's a man building a tent. Tents are not built in familiar places. No. If you have a familiar spirit, you, you'll build a house and dwell there. Tent means I'm temporarily here. I'm moving. And that's what was in Abraham. Isaac, Jacob, they are saying, look, however big it is, this is not where we belong. They used to build things that were speaking. And these things were saying, we've not yet begun. It's not where we are ending. Men of faith, they don't build permanent dwelling places when the word is spoken. No, they build temporary dwelling places when the word is spoken. Because they know the spirit can move me anytime. And I have to be flexible for the Holy Ghost. When I tell people we've not yet started, we have not yet started. We are still in tents. And there is a reason why we are still in tents. This is what we see. By the time Fanero has begun, we shall be having a fellowship in every nation of the world. The tent is saying, God, I'm not yet there. I'm on a journey. I am moving. And I know that you're not yet done with me. Because there is a salvation that comes to a man when God discovers that this man knows that I'm not yet done with him, but he's doing everything possible to position himself for the next thing. And he tells you, enlarge the place of thy tent. He tells you, stretch forth. He says, do not hold back, for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left hand, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and the, make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. Stretch forth your faith. You'll make desolate cities habitable. 
in other words this is all he's trying to tell you because he has spoken the word don't look at uganda how uganda is how many numbers there are who can who can't who is your connection your education who is your father where did you come from how many places have you traveled how many places haven't you traveled pitch a tent men of faith build tents when the word is spoken abraham was not poor not to build a certain castle but no there was a certain vision a city whose founder and architect was god and for more of this join us every thursday at Umalugogo from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Finero, make manifest.